Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top hacking tools for 2024. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You know we're going dark. So it's going to be five. So let's get right into it. Number one, we have Burp Suite. Uh, Burp Suite is so synonymous with web hacking that we are giving it its own section, to be honest. When I was learning to hack, it took me a while to understand the awesomeness of Burp Suite. So uh, somebody was able to do their OSCP without using it much, uh, and they found it a bit confusing when you know they were starting out. Uh, this person started consuming more hacking content online, and they noticed that pretty much everyone would recommend it. So they forced themselves to learn it properly. Uh, now they have a hard time living without it. So uh, that's the testimony of many people uh, in regards to Burp Suite. And Burp Suite is a web proxy and web vulnerability scanner. It sits between your browser and the web server uh, that you are attacking, intercepting all HTTPS traffic. It has the ability to analyze this traffic to passively discover vulnerabilities or actively probe the target server either manually or in uh, an automated fashion. Number two, we have uh, Deer Search. And Deer Search is a web path brute forcer written by uh, Mauro Soria, sorry if I botched the name. It is less feature rich than F FFUF because it only brute forces files and directories. It does not perform fuzzing. While this may seem like a disadvantage, the smaller feature set allows the output and workflow to be more catered to that specific use. As a result, uh, you know, many people find themselves reverting to the search quite often when performing web path brute forcing. Uh, it has been under active development for six years and is still receiving upgrades. Some of the some of the basic usage is, uh, you know, is to specify a base URL with uh, and Peter, you can put that on the screen. This minus U symbol and file extensions with the minus E. It is beneficial to use a lot of file extensions that might reveal backup files, older files, or configuration files that are not supposed to be revealed. Next, we have SQL Map, and SQL Map is a tool for detecting and exploiting SQL injection vulnerabilities. It has been around since 2006 and is still actively maintained. Of all the automated uh, SQ, you know, L injection uh, detection tools uh, that's been tried, uh, most people found SQL Map to be the one that discovers them most effectively. The real magic comes in when you actually need to exploit the vulnerability, though. SQL map can take the SQLI vulnerability that is extremely time consuming and laborious to exploit manually like a time based blind boolean and then exploit it with ease. Uh, the basic usage is, you know, the, you know, SQL map is this uh, simply pass it to the URL. SQL map will automatically attempt SQLI on all parameters by default. In this case, it will attempt SQLI on the ID parameter. Uh, keep in mind that there are way more features to SQL map. Next, we have text manipulation utilities. And I, uh, you know, I specifically referring to Linux command line utilities that are designed to manipulate strings in some way, like awk, SED, sort, and grep. I know these aren't hacking tools, but I use them multiple times every day for performing tasks that are related to hacking. It's difficult to overstate the importance of being familiar with these tools. The amount of time they can save you on everyday tasks is unbelievable. Lastly, we have the interlace, and interlace is a recent, recently released tool. It has similarly uh, functionality to parallel, except it is designed to be used to run hacking tools against targets. It has some useful features for that specific use case, such as support for a CIDR notation, uh, blockers to finish, and it also supports the ability to take in a list of commands from a file, meaning that you can easily build out a full workflow of commands to run on multiple hosts. So uh, please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you have some things that you feel like I didn't talk about? Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate your viewership. Please share the content please, and see you on the next video.